all right guys at Walgreens um, checked two other ones earlier today and they didn't have anything for Guardians but look what I just found the whole Sandman wave so you know what I'm getting today I'm gonna pass on the Spidey 2099 Brandon I uh, picked it up for me as well as Schaefer Salad picked me up Spidey UK but I am getting the wrist and they do have one more black Spidey here so I'm gonna pick that one up too uh, as I had some people that still wanted that one so yeah not too shabby um, like I said Wednesdays and uh, Saturdays are usually restock days guys so definitely hit them up uh, nothing new on Transformers still looking like Wave 2 um, haven't seen Wave 3 here at all but I did get lucky with that one crop that one day so I think they must have just got like maybe one stock of them in but yeah I think that's it for here uh, this is the only place I'm stopping today um, got to get some get the packages out to all the guys and then and heading home we got some things at the house waiting on me too so we'll definitely take a look at what I got today all right guys this is your redneck from Georgia Nate and this has been Walgreens Sandman Sandman hello my people this is your redneck from Georgia Nate Sorry if I sound a little different. Um, kind of give you guys a back story. Um, as everybody knows, I was in the Air Force and working with the Army and those guys. Um, one of the things that happened was I seriously injured my back really bad. Um, I've had two back surgeries, one in 14 and one in last year, and it's acting up. So if I'm a little tense or anything like that, a little different, then kind of know why. Um, so yeah, it, it's not one of the best things in the world, I'll tell you that. Um, but what I was able to do today is pick up some things. So um, I checked all three Walgreens out today and no Guardians of the Galaxy um, after restock day. Excuse me. Um, as a reminder, Wednesdays and Wednesdays, Thursdays ish, and then Saturdays definitely is re restock days. So, but I got lucky. Um, so, because I found these. Now, you guys might have remembered about a month ago, I had found all. I had found these, of course, at my Walmart down in Perry, Georgia. Um, so, and then I literally picked them all up and sent them all out to everybody. <laughs> um, that's just what I do. I'd like to help you guys out. You guys help me out tremendously. Um, so, I like to help out people. Um, so, found those three and shocker jackal and these these boxes are definitely not the best I'll tell you that um, like they got smushed or something like that but and green goblin so what they did have there additionally they had two spidey uk's and the uh um 2099 white version and you're probably asking why didn't i pick those up well because i'm getting hooked up with those um so brandon warren is hooking me up with the Spidey 29 white version as well as he got me the bloody Negan and the Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku so the only one I need from that whole set is just the regular Vegeta now 
Um, that Vegeta is from, it'll say on the box, Resurrection F. And then got hit up today um, as well. A lot of people have been picking me things up and I really appreciate it. It's been kind of crazy because I've had so many people and so much support um, that I'm having to tell people, nope, this guy's already got it for me. A uh, good example was uh, Craven, Marvel Legends Craven. Um, I geeked up. I had already picked it up, and then so did uh, Schaefer Salah. So um, I was talking to Mike today, and I said, Hey, dude, I really appreciate it. But Schaefer got that already because Mike was about to mail it out. Um, and it happens because we all have big hearts and we want to help out each other. And you know, because usually we all, you know, we all pass our list around, you know, our trades and stuff that we want to do. Um, and it's just about timing. George, me, and Daniel had the same situation a little while back. Um, but I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you guys taking time out to go find me things. Uh, I, I try to do the same thing for everybody. Um, so I've already got Black Suit Spidey. So this one is going to Brandon Warren. And this one's getting, going to Daniel Barger. Um, because um, they... They're, they have new YouTubes uh, out there, and I'll put some links down below. Um, but yeah, those are going to go to those two guys. Because I, I had hooked up Cincy and Mike the Hunter and some other guys that needed the Sandman ones. And those, those two guys needed those ones too. So uh, so once I get in that Marvel, or once I get in the 2099 Spidey um, and the Spidey UK, which is coming from, um, let me see. I believe it was <clears throat> Schaefer. Bear with me, guys. It's going to take me a little bit today. Uh, that is coming from... Yeah, Schaefer. Schaefer picked up Craven, Voltron, and the Spidey UK. Um, so, I'll be able to finish up my Sandman wave. So, yeah. I appreciate it, guys. I thank you guys so much. Um, like I said, I'm always going to hunt for you. Might take me a while, but you know me. I'm going to get those cool, cool figures, doll. Plastic. Um, but yeah. Not bad. And this is all in one store. One Walgreens. And that's it. So, I got some mail in today. First up, this one is from Ray, a.k.a. Go Trig Boy. Oh, yeah. So, Go Trig Boy, um, Ray Falkenberry on Facebook, guys. Um, he was hooking me up with this one. Um, that's why I picked him up, that Constable Rick. And I'm looking for the Constable, or the uh, Aaron from Wave 10, I believe it is. Um, and uh, Ray told me that it hasn't came out yet. So, I'm keeping an eye out for that one for him and then a couple of other things. Uh, so, let's open up and see what Ray sent Nate. Boxy. Knifey. Good time to be had. Oh, and by the way, Ray, this box was already open <laughs> uh, on the sides. It looks like the top tape had been there, so gotta love USPS. So, let's see what he sent me. He sent me some memory foam jelly pop. So I'm assuming this was a shoe box. It looks like it. Uh, and I got I got all the padding in the wrapping. Uh, so what he sent me is a NECA figure that I've been trying to find because um, they never showed up here. And what we have, people, is Ash vs. Evil Dead. Hero Ash from the first season of Ash vs. Evil Dead. And I think it's because of timing, because by the time I got into NECA this time, um, a lot of these are already out. So, so I was so happy that you found this one. Because um, I'm a huge Bruce Campbell fan. I always have been. I mean, I watched, see... First one came out in 82, eight, and I think I was like three or four. And I remember because I watched 
Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and then I saw Evil Dead. Um, and of course, Evil Dead wasn't the big cult following back then, as Freddy and those ones were. Um, because it just didn't have a, as much demand. So, a lot of us have watched it, have been watching it since the 80s. And, you know, we loved Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness, and now we have Ash vs. Evil Dead. Um, we just got done with Season 2. Season 3 will come out this fall. So, I love this series. And the video games, I mean, I, I, mean, I still have some of them. Um, but yeah, I'm a huge Bruce Campbell fan, especially when he did um, Briscoe County. You know, Adventure to Briscoe County. It was it was funny, but it's not the same line, you know, um, as Sam Raimi. But if you guys know anything about Sam Raimi, he of course brings Bruce Campbell into almost every movie. So if you watch all the Spider-Man movies, there's Bruce Campbell in there, you know. So just keep an eye on. He's like he's like Stan Lee. He always makes his uh, pseudo um, appearance in there, a cameo. So. Huge, huge fan of his, um, especially that in Burn Notice he did, um, which was kind of cool because it was more of a dramatic thing. He had some comedy in there, but it was mostly drama. Um, so yeah, all right, and we got another box in. This one is from uh, eBay. So let's see what we got. Um, and I also want to give a shout out to a bunch of people right now. Um, Juno Koo. Juno Koo has been hunting stuff for me left and right. And he told me today, he was like, I got you. Uh, and I said, all right, what do you need? And he gave me his list. So I'm going to try to get through his list this weekend. Um, we'll see if I can get everything on it. But he hooked me up. He got me the Titans Return um, sound wave. So now I gotta find all the tapes to go with it because I originally didn't want to get those. Um, I'm not the the sound blaster or the uh, auto blaster still doesn't look that good to me. And it's maybe because of the way it, the way it looks. Um, but the sound wave one looks pretty decent, and that'll that'll go good with my Titans Return. So. Alright, so T-Man and uh, D-Robot Game. So, you guys will know what this is. Maybe. Um, what this is, is Keith's Fantasy Toys Dump, uh, dump Yard. So Dump Yard, of course, is a Junkion, but in the Masterpiece scale. So, um, I was actually trying, trying to get both this and uh, KFC's version of uh, Rekgar, but it went up way too high that I was willing to pay. 18 bucks is what I got that for. Not too shabby. Especially since these MSRP for anywhere from 80 to 100 um, And this thing's heavy. It's like heavy, heavy. And KFC has got a bad rap. And the reason why is, is quality control on a lot of their things. Um, these, though, are supposed to be a thousand times better. So I'm definitely going to give it a whirl, see how it is. Um, I do have one other KFC, and it is Transistor, the unofficial masterpiece um, blaster with the tape. Um, so, yeah. Just a little bit of things I got today, guys. Um, got more stuff coming in tomorrow. I'm still going to be looking for the Guardians to get those last three. A couple guys are trying to find it for me. Uh, Eduardo Diaz, uh, Daniel Barger, and a couple of other ones. And, and if somebody can find it, I really appreciate it. And as soon as they tell me that they find it, I'll tell everybody else, hey, stop looking for that one for me. Because uh, they're everywhere. I mean, these things are going everywhere now. And this is awesome. <laughs> it's awesome that everybody in the community can find these. Um, and I'm glad to see the Sandman wave show up. Like I said, this was just random out of the blue today. It showed up at that Walgreens. Because I've never I've never seen it in any Walgreens. It's always been just that one Walmart, and now it's gone. So I think it's just timing. I think we're going to see an influx. And I think a lot of it had to do with the Christmas transition over through New Year's. Oh, and by the way, one thing that people don't really realize is they have Chinese New Year, 
Most toys are made in China, Taiwan, those kind of places. With Chinese New Year, they ain't doing anything. So that's why there's some hold up on some things coming out from uh, from over there. So, all right, guys. Like I said, this has been your Redneck from Georgia Nate. And this was our unboxing plus the pickups today. I'll get these packaged up for you guys, Daniel and Brandon. Um, I already owed Brandon a box anyway, so I bought them at Zenomorph. And he's hooking me up. Um, and I really appreciate it. And like, if anybody else can find the rest of these for me, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, I'm looking for that. Looking for Eligos, the S Smart, um, Ash, and then from the new ones, you know, the Ash versus the two kids, um, the evil, the evil kids, because I want, I wanted to get those to put together, because I've got the Evil Dead Two version up there, um, and then I've got a, I gotta look, um, because I, I believe, Neca. Or somebody had actually came out with the Army of Darkness ones a while back. I'm gonna see if I can find those, pick those up. Especially like if they have a Deadite, Deadite Ash, I'd like to get that one because I'm a huge Evil Dead fan. So if anybody wants to give me anything for Christmas, birthday, and you give me an Ash or something from Evil Dead, all right, all right, guys. Like I said, this has been your Redneck from Georgia Nate. Uh, this is what we got for today. We'll see what we get tomorrow. Um, and Nate needs to build a new shelf soon. <laughs> uh, oh, and by the way, so um, my all of our stuff from California is on its way here. So in about about a month, it's going to take them um, roughly. We will get everything. So I'll get the rest of my shelves plus the rest of my transformers, and then we'll get Jessica's all her stuff, and then we can kind of showcase off that. Um, and then this room will probably be pretty full. But then, um, so I'm definitely going to do some organization. <laughs> I got a lot of big bots coming in too. Um, you know, and I'll show you guys off. And then, um, probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow, we'll start Beast Wars. Um, I kind of want to go through that. I don't have a whole lot of Beast War figures, so I will show you what I have and kind of explain what I have with them. But... Um, this has been fun guys I'm enjoying it um, and like I said shout out to Juno Ku, Daniel Berger um, uh, Schaefer Salad Budget Collector you know and all these guys I really appreciate it uh, from the bottom of my heart thank you guys alright take care have a good one guys <laughs>